In Activity 1, The Spectrum of Visible Light, students observe the properties of light by directing it through a prism. They first discover the colors of the visible light spectrum, then make a color wheel to see how various colors are related. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 1, crayons, sheets of white paper, and prisms. You will also need to provide scissors. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 1 for each student. This activity must be done on a relatively sunny day in an area exposed to direct sunlight. Each team of two will need a sheet of white paper, a prism, a box of crayons, and a pair of scissors. To begin the activity, ask students what color is sunlight. Most students may say that sunlight is yellow. Others may think that sunlight is either white or has no color at all. Then show the students a prism from the kit and explain that a prism is a solid, transparent object that redirects and separates light rays. Inform students that in this activity they are going to see what happens when they hold a prism in the sunlight. Next, divide the class into teams of two and distribute the materials. Give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 1. Demonstrate how to use the prism by holding it with your thumb and forefinger on the triangular faces so that your hand is palm up and the length of the prism is parallel to the floor. Find a sunny spot in the classroom and have one student hold the prism in the sunlight while another student holds a sheet of white paper about an arm's length from the prism. Have them hold the prism still and move the paper up and down until they see a patch of bright light on it. Then hold the paper still and turn the prism so that the patch of light moves across the paper. Finally, hold the prism still, tilt the paper, and watch what happens to the patch of light. Lead a class discussion to explain what is happening with the prisms by asking students, does any light come through the prism? Where does it go? What happens to the light if you rotate the prism? Can you predict where the light will go as you rotate the prism? What happens to the light if you tilt the paper? Help them understand that light coming through the prism lands on the paper. Rotating the prism causes the light to move and stretch by increasing the amount it is bent. Invite students to continue experimenting with the positions of the prism and the paper and to record their observations on Activity Sheet 1. Next, ask students, do you see any colors on the paper? Which ones? What order are they in? Are they always in the same order? Students should report seeing red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet or purple always in that order or the reverse. Then ask, where do you think the colors come from? Answers may vary, but the correct answer is that these colors come from the sunlight. Explain that sunlight is made up of many different colors of light, but all together they look white to our eyes. By changing the orientation of the prism and the tilt of the paper, students have separated the white sunlight into its individual colors. Define spectrum as another name for light that is separated into colors. Students can prove that the colors are in the sunlight by blocking the light that strikes the prism and viewing the colors disappear from the paper. Next, have students take turns holding the prism up to their faces and looking through them. They should notice that even though the prisms are transparent, they cannot see through them to what is directly in front of them. The edges of objects that can be seen through the prism are blurred with color. Be sure to tell students to never look directly at the sun through the prism, as doing so could cause serious eye damage. Then ask students, based on what you just observed, what do you think happens to the light? How does color come out of white light? Explain that when sunlight passes through the prism, it gets refracted or bent, and that the different colors of light that make up white light bend to different degrees. Red light bends the least, then orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, which bends the most. 
The colors are thus separated as they pass through the prism and always appear in the same order. Finally, distribute a pair of scissors to each team and have the students follow the directions at the bottom of the activity sheet to make a color wheel. Ask students, do you notice any similarities between the colors of the spectrum and the colors on the color wheel? Students should notice that the colors on the color wheel are in the same order as in the spectrum. Indigo, however, is not included in the color wheel. Let students know that the wheel colors match the filter colors that they will use in other activities. To conclude the activity, collect the students' color wheels for use in later activities. Return the prisms and the crayons to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.